Okay, guys, uh, we are still talking about what is going on in Nigeria and outside. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, uh, depending on your location at this time of the day. Happy weekend. It's a beautiful Saturday morning. All right. I don't know where to start, but let me begin from somewhere. Of course, this is um, Nigerian politics uh, for you. All right, the news um, flying around about the social media, and um, I think the mainstream media is also... Um, you know, broadcasting the story that uh, Buari has um, granted the central bank governor, MFLA, uh permission to, you know, flee Nigeria. According to him, a central bank governor wants to, you know, get permission for a study leave, a study leave. I think um, from what I heard, Harvard University. I mean, he's supposed to know what a study leave means. I mean, it's not going to be a one year something, it is not going to be a two years something. I mean, what does that imply? Sometimes these people make Nigerians believe that we are gullible. We don't know what is going on. Remember some time ago when uh, the DSS, um, you know, tried arresting MFLA uh, in connection of terrorism financing and other allegations, but um, the move was stopped, okay? MFLA was given... Um, military protection, I think, by the Nigerian defense, um, uh, from the defense staff, something like that, okay? So, uh, these people are trying to make Nigerians look stupid. Of course, everybody knows that MFLA is about to flee the country because by the time Buaris Tenor elapses, everybody is on their own. He's not going to be the only person. Remember what happened during the Naira redesigning when he was opposing uh, Tinibu's and other people's request to integrate the whole Naira node. I don't know if you guys understand. Okay, so that was when the trouble started. Now, let me ask you a question. This new Naira node, when last did you see them in Nigeria? The new Naira node. When last did you hold the new Naira node? Yes. That is the question we should be asking. So this man is about to flee the country. Nothing anybody would tell me about that. Because by the time Buari hands over to Tinibu, things will really change. Even Buari himself, don't be surprised, he's even afraid of Tinibu. Seriously, I'm telling you the truth. Buari is more afraid of Tinibu than anyone else. Yes. Now, do you know the reason why this man was not sacked by Buari with all the allegations leveled against him. Let me tell you the truth. If you sack a central bank governor, who will sign and help you collect loan? Who? Of course, we know, even Erufai um, confirmed uh, confirm it, uh, that he was the person that helped him to collect, um, I think, World Bank loan and so on. So if you are raised a central bank governor, how will you get loan? Who will help you to sign and secure loan? Because already we know Nigeria is, uh, you know, uh, we are good at borrowing. Who will help you? So that was the reason why um, military protection was given to him. And by the time Buari leaves office, you know, he will be powerless. So this is the reason why this man, for me, it is my own personal opinion. I stand to be corrected, okay? This is my own personal opinion. So personally for me, I think um, he wants to flee Nigeria because if Tinibu comes in, hmm, nobody will know what will happen next. That is the truth, nothing but the truth. So personally, I believe the reason why he was not or was given a military protection was to secure loan. Of recent, I think 800 million loan has been, um, you know, requested by Buari. Few days to leave the office. Eight hundred million dollars. Few days to leave the country. And Nigeria is a country that spend about, okay, they said eighty percent, eighty percent of the country's revenue to service loan. You are not even gaining. You are using eighty. But some people, you know, is of uh, opinion that it is more than eighty percent, more than ninety percent. So the country is not even, you know, making anything, relying on loan. So if you are as a MFLA, who will help you to secure those loans? So that was, uh, that could have been the reason why he was giving those protection. All right, guys, I quickly want to update you uh, what is going on. Don't be surprised, MFLA is not the only person that might be 
leaving Nigeria because of next administration. But however, let me know what you guys think. See you in another update.